greatest player ever to grace the game. Five times a world champion, five times a UK champion, and five times a winner of the Masters. Here comes the rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. What an atmosphere, as you could hear, as the players were introduced. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First frame, Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. Looking to perhaps 11. open the pack from the blue. Well, what a shot he's played there. They're playing this safe at the same time. One. Strokes it in. But he wasn't firing seventy straight away. Doesn't matter Ronnie about O'Sullivan, the Brian. 17 and the friend. Mark Williams stays in the seat. This has been a fabulous start from the Rocket. Ronnie O'Sullivan takes that opening frame. One, Mark Williams. Twenty-five. Yeah, because the angle he got on the previous. Red. It's red. This is dangerous, but they do hug the top cushion. We've seen that. If Mark Williams has been watching the television, he'll know full well that that was the right shot to play. Oh. It lets Ronnie Sa Sullivan back Mark to the Williams. table, but... Well, that's all you need. <clears throat> Three. Now this looks good. If he misses the pink. Twelve. Well, it's a little bit more difficult now. Will he play this left-handed? That's the question. Very unlucky for the Welsh from there. That was an unbelievable flip that Ronnie O'Sullivan had. Great shot. Had to go up 54. the other end of the table. If he had been straight on that red, he could have just held for the blue. Trick shot star. It's not clever, really, if it goes 64. wrong. It never Mark looks Williams. great, but has he got away with it? Great shot. Whoa. Williams' only hope is the pink. 35. Oh. And foul. after all that, can you believe what's happened? Seven. Mark Williams. That is quite amazing. <laughs> While Ronnie stays in his seat, it looked like he had a chance to pinch the third frame, and that uncharacteristic miscue uh, meant that Mark Williams took the third frame. The pattern of this match. One. Well, played it nicely. 27. Well, so easy to underhit or overhit those shots, Dennis. Nicely played. Four. Now, can he see the black? That Taken to the Welshman here. And this is a pretty good result. I think if it pulls up or hits the brown. Oh, it went. 
Don't stop. Well, it doesn't matter about missing that. Ronnie said. Mark Williams, eight. And that's afraid. enough, and he goes off to the mid session interval. He's got another, what, let's see. He to put the preparation in. Seventy-three. Eighty-one. Highest break. Well, that may be the end of break, but what a fabulous century Robert break! Sullivan, He's back the against the wall. Four-two behind. It. How did he respond? Corner, but he did. A bit unlucky. He tried what? an exhibition type shot there with a lot of top spin. Look at the angle from there. He's got it. What a shot. Oh, big shot. Mark Williams, eight. Forty-six. It's always risky when you're having to play cannons, but he had to do that time. One. Uh, some fourteen minutes. He's all square. Twenty-three. Got a bit of a kick Ronnie on that, but he wasn't really concentrating on the paint. It was a magnificent effort of 60, but it has to be said. It's not an easy starter for Ronnie. One. Ed. But this 52 is not far from being over this frame. Just one. 56. Could have defended both of those titles, but chose not to. But he's back at his brilliant best here. four century breaks for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Every minute of this. The rocket really is on fire as both players leave the arena. Well, he's got a chance. It was a similar type shot to the one that Mark missed the other. Chose to go into them. He's got the Norfolk. Oh, he's not even on the plant. Oh, no. I just see enough of that. Mm. Might have possibly. Mark Williams, 50. <laughs> oh, well. 29. Good shot needed here. It's not there. Ronnie O'Sullivan. It's not 50. over just yet. No. As the place goes in, the scores are all square. Who's going to go through to the next round? That's the big question. We've got a deciding frame. That was definitely the wrong choice. He thought long and hard and... <laughs>
Well, well. I was always pushing to the top cushion. And you see little things like that cannon. Now he's got to do it from the green. 51 needs to pull up. He doesn't want to be straight on the green, otherwise he can't get a little bit of angle. And what a shot he's played there. 59. There you see 32 ahead. Doesn't matter about the brown. Well, Mark Sullivan, looks at the 62. scoreboard. And now we will get the handshake. Yeah, he takes to Ronnie O'Sullivan and congratulates the Rockets. It's been a fabulous match. These two players have put on a fantastic show here this afternoon. One. Might just be okay. The one at the back of the... 41. Oh, that was a lovely shot. And again. Mm -hmm. 58. Uh, bit of pressure on that one. Now, where's the red going to finish? Sullivan. Where's the red going to finish? Oh, what a shot he played there. Wow. It's a friend, Dennis, that would have really hurt Ronnie. So we want uh, a and lot more friend. of this. And Ronnie O'Sullivan had an earlier break of 63. Almost lost the frame. Good pass. And that's it. He's got his earpiece in. He's always at the Masters, Patsy. In fact, he was uh, he's doing a bit of coaching with Jimmy a couple of seasons ago. 44. Oh, wiped its feet. Oh, well, he hit the near jaw on the last one. Ronnie O'Sullivan. He certainly hit the near 51. jaw, but this time stayed out. Yeah. Oh, this could work out just nice. Oh. What a shot that is. Well, it looks like he's screwing back up for pink. I thought. It might have been better 15. to go for a ball colour. And the only problem about that shot is he can come too straight on the pink. Yeah. What a clearance from Mark Selby. 56 break when Ronnie looked like he was going to win the frame. Oh, beautifully cured. Beautifully cured. 34. I don't think the two reds are a plant, but we know of this. And he did. 50. It's been 62. good stuff. Great response so far. Doesn't matter about the blue. He's made more than enough. Doesn't matter about missing the blue. So it was that Emma. earlier break. It's the 69 that paved the way for Ronnie O'Sullivan. And it could be costly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> 39. Well, it wasn't the way he played it, that's for sure. But it was difficult to split the reds there. There weren't a good. Beautiful. One. Seventeen. Before. From his mind. And he does look very focused now. Here from both players. And there's an all round <laughs> positional <laughs> shot. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, he won't be bothered about missing the yellow. Max Albi says that's enough for me. Superb. He's played a lovely cannon there. And you're a beautiful angle. 37. Uh, it could have finished. 63. Yeah, we'll show you that one again. And just over four minutes to get to this stage. 64. And we always give it a mention when he sat in his chair. Black for this first century. Fantastic. Century break in his career. One hundred. Well, the red is not going in, but a wonderful, magnificent century from O'Sullivan. corner pocket pink will go on the blue spot and that could be very unlucky unless that red at the back of the he's trying the double he's got the double oh. 55. what a shot fantastic 63 played it superbly well that was an excellent shot. <laughs> what a shot that is. 16. Ooh. Didn't want to kiss on the black, but he's OK. 23. Oh, that's a great shot. Fantastic shot, Dennis, at a, at a cute angle as well. <laughs> wow. What a climax we got. 39. Where's the cue ball? Keep your eye on the cue ball. 55. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Can you believe it? Ronnie O'Sullivan has pulled off one of the finest clearances you could ever wish to see. Mark Selby made a magnificent 70 break. It looked like he was going to be one frame behind. Well, as he judges this to perfection, thirty six, no, he just didn't get the correct angle on the black, so he won't be winning the frame at this visit. Oh, oh. tremendous. Pop. That was brilliant. Oh. That was... He's playing the blue. No problem right in the heart of the pocket. Yeah, well, what an opening frame that was. Ronnie O'Sullivan, to be fair, did nothing wrong. He made a break of 59. Oh. Available into the same pocket as this black. Ooh. Oh, well. Took his eye off the ball. Not because it's blocked, and he can't play the one just below the pink because that was a dink. Oh, this is a bonus. That's a bonus. One. And blue. Twenty-one. Beautiful. What a yellow this was, though.
And in goes the paint, so Stuart Bingham had his chance there. This had left off the spot. I thought he'd got away with it. And then he turned down a, a pot that looked like a shot for nothing. Well, and I can assure you as a snooker player, there's no better feeling when you've just... and getting <laughs> tremendous pots. <laughs> yep, that was the problem with Stephen Sell. He just couldn't get a good position and... Just needs to slow up, and it has done. Look for the blue and make it easier to get on the yellow. 20. Thirty-four. Mm, that's not perfect. Yeah. Oh, nice. To shot on the blue. Oh, to be honest with you, it's another frame that could have gone either way. But Stuart Bingham had a few chances. He didn't take them. Overcut it. Oh. McHugh Ball's got in the pocket. He was forced into that four. because... He... One. The right centre. Fifteen. Yeah, the fraction was just favouring, although you'd have to say if he hadn't have been on that. Forty-six. Fifty-nine. And that will mean that Stuart Bingham will not come back to the table now in this first. Ronnie O'Sullivan, seventy and the three. And that's it. Stuart Bingham concedes, so they go to the mid-session into a Ronnie O'Sullivan with a 3-1 advantage. And he's not had to produce his best yet. Oh, where's the red going? Oh, he's cut it in. Cued that nicely. Now you'd think he'd want to go up off the blue here. He just took the, the cue ball to the right side of the blue. And he's okay here. I think the pink pot's to the left corner. He's got a red to the right corner. But a good shot with the rest. And when you consider how easy he switched his hands, it's amazing how good he is with the rest. Four for seven. Played it well. And and there you go, he just overrun it slightly, so Stuart Bingham. Oh, well, it was just off the cushion. But no problem. Uh, you have to say he's been allowed to do that, John. Uh, as we keep going about that block at the spot, the second film is when he makes the century. Well, it's it's too difficult, difficult, so he's not going to have a go at it. But once again, well, well, you know, Stuart isn't going to keep missing, but he's potted it well. Settle for that. Sixty-two. But needs to be on a colour. One. Oh dear me, what a shot that was! <laughs> oh, sensational! Sensational. Watching Stuart Bingham in his chair, he just he doesn't know what to think about the, the last two or three shots he's just been played.
Whoa. Needs to miss the brown, and he didn't. He got the kick. Great pass. And perfect on the green. To the pace. Just got to judge the pace. Needs a bounce or to slow down. One or the other. It's not bad. Where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? 20. It's there! Well, that is absolutely incredible. When Ronnie O'Sullivan needed one snooker, I didn't put it out of the realms of possibility. Very low. 45, Stuart Bingham. Well, as I say, he knew the cue ball was going back to the ball end, but what an opportunity he's left. And the same with Stuart. As I say, you are on the side of hitting it thin, but... This will be some achievement if he can win the frame with this visit. Take the right off the cushion here. No, no. So half a chance he had there. That's the plan. Thirty-two point. Not there. Sixteen. Stuart Bingham. You cannot get your breath. What a pot that was! Unbelievable. The Well, you said, Stephen, he needed a challenge. He was, he was asked a question. Ronnie O'Sullivan potted and in goes the black. And Ronnie O'Sullivan has beaten the world champion. What an amazing match. I know Ronnie will say he won't be happy. Stuart Bingham won't be happy. But Ronnie O'Sullivan... He breaks. That's what he needs to do, Ken. Yeah, absolutely. Paris. It's a traditional handshake. And I must say, Dennis, the atmosphere is a service. Eight days. And there's another one. one. Running a seven four. It's not there. Thank you. Great shot. Two. Well, they got the main part of the shot. Needs to travel a bit further. Yeah, good shot. And he's nicely, well, it's like nicely on the bank, but a little bit close to the cushion for comfort. Started with a break of 45, and he got the wrong side of the blue. Otherwise, I'm sure he would have clinched the frame. With oh, he's <coughs> no, yes. <laughs> Certainly produce some great snooker. Barry just uh, 48. misjudged his safety shot and it's proven costly. 
Well, he won't yes, be too worried about the red right into the right centre, and Ronnie O'Sullivan gets off the mark. One. Great opening pot. But His long game is good, to be honest. I think over the years. This for the century. Absolutely super. And look at this shot here. Watch the side to swing it in between the brown and the yellow. Have a little look at that shot. <laughs> in the safety department but oh well 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 this is tough that wasn't straightforward Ronnie O'Sullivan one oh, it's just, it's just uh, Barry Hawkins one a little bit of tension just to spin it through the, the reds He's okay. Reds come over to left center. And yeah, not. 16. Yep. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 52. Great shot. Yeah. And he did manage that. So, key shot coming up. Brilliant. Oh, and he didn't want that double kiss Thank there. Thank you. Well, the pink goes in. Ronnie won't Number bother about the black. And it's another frame on the board. I found this a little bit last night with Stuart Bingham. That it's, it's these mid range shots that. One. Nice pot on the blue, though. And a little chance now. You would think to. Yeah, that's the line John's talking about. Well, he didn't hit the reds, he hit the pink, but. Well, I don't know. Take the chance of getting back from where he is, so need good judgment here. And has he hit it hard enough? This is a shocker. Wow, One thing you couldn't be was short. He's left him. Well. <laughs> well, good part. So he's got a slight angle on this thread, but I was a little bit surprised after last. We're right behind it. We're right behind it. Is it there? It is. With 27 remaining. 38. Yes, I understand there's a great amount of pressure on him, John, but this is what comes with the territory, isn't it? When you play in the final, he's going eventually going to be under. Well, it won't matter about the ground, and that will be enough. Barry Hawkins stays in his seat. But not punished. And it's caught him out. It's caught him out. Barry Hawkins, 17. If he's not on the pink. Goodness me. That's a great shot. 
he's just sitting there four. and hoping he's going to miss. 59. They might be nice guys now, John, but they weren't when you played them. It's there. <laughs> Pretty much exemplary. Barry struggling for 71. position. No, double? Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, it didn't matter, the frame was over, so once again, Barry got in first, has to say, but he's just not scoring, and he just can't keep the... James just not quite there at the moment, and unfortunately, in the final of a major championship. No problem. He's having to drop the pink in and play for the cut on the red into the six frames behind. Sixty-seven. Well, to make the century. But it didn't matter. Well, he did manage to leave distance between cue ball and object ball. to amaze you at this game when you don't need the luck, you get it. <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. Twenty-three. Don't want to overthink this. In the end he just thirty eight. Forty-five. The red that he knocks safe. Sixty Two shots ago. Well, nearly a lucky fifteen, but it didn't matter. The frame was well and truly over before that. Mm. Air of desperation about that one. Made the black available into both corner pockets. The greatest player ever. And we're five. here to witness it. And most importantly, of course. But that's Trey and Max Boyle, surely. Comments. You just have to admire it. And I'm sure Barry will admire it as well. No, it's not to the way from the cushion. Oh, but not quite. Barry Hawkins will come out of his chair. Shake the hand. And Ronnie O'Sullivan say well played. Ronnie will be sympathetic for Barry, who has not played his best today. But Ronnie O'Sullivan winning the sixth title. Receiving a cheque for £200,000, the trophy and the title, 2016 Duffermet Masters Champion, Ronnie O'Sullivan.